Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. And uh, yeah, let's go straight into the video. Okay, so before getting into any of the uh, modeling, you want to make sure you have a decent reference image to work off. I tend to look for line art, which is essentially just an outline of an image, so it's simple to trace, and then it makes life easier later on. Okay, so once you open up Blender, the first thing you want to do is import the reference image you were searching for earlier. So to do that, you basically, um, you want to line it up with the x-axis or whatever to keep it flat. And then you can just remove these. And you want to drag your image from wherever you have it and just drop it roughly in the center because then it centers the image. And then you can click on it and then press S to scale it, make it larger, whatever you want to do with it. Started out also like to mention that on the bottom right you can see all the keys I use because sometimes I forget to mention what keys I'm using while I'm doing things. It will show you exactly what I'm pressing um, so you guys can follow along easy and you don't really have to um, question on what, like what uh, keys I'm using and stuff like that or shortcut keys. Okay, so once you've done everything you want to um, you want to get started with the modeling. So what I tend to do is I push this image backwards so it doesn't interfere with any of the uh, model. Because when you put it back to a flat image, you can still see it uh, fine, even though it's further back. But um, yeah, to get started, you want to click Add, Mesh, and then Cube, and then Import a Cube. And the first thing you want to do is press Tab to go into Edit Mode, hold Control R to add a loop cut down the middle. So you make the loop cut down the middle, and then you want to press Tab again. Oh no, don't press Tab. Stay in Edit Mode and then press 3 or click this uh, and then hold Z go into wireframe mode and then delete half of the faces here and now you're left with half a cube so once you've got half a cube you want to click this little blue wrench add modifier and then you want to mirror it so now whatever you do on this side of the model happens on the other side and it keeps it more symmetrical. Okay, so once you have the mirror modifier, you can completely ignore this side because then it just it just replicates whatever you do on this side. So we can just click on this little red circle here to lock it on the x-axis, and now we can just work on here. Just before I mention anything, you want to tick clip in also, which I forgot to mention, because um, then it prevents if I uh, unselect clipping, so I can select the vertex and move it and then it splits the model and you don't want to open it up in the middle whereas if I click clipping on it keeps it attached okay so lock it in the x-axis and now we can begin modeling so you want to roughly uh, select uh, edges and then select the bottom edges pull it down you want to roughly follow the outline so I'm going to make the main part of the car and then you want to essentially trace uh, the model well the image essentially so uh, you'd always stay locked in the x-axis and then you press E to extrude and then go roughly to the middle of the um, tire and then E to extrude to the end again and then you do it on both sides now this is just a technique I use um, I think you guys eventually will find your own techniques uh, which will make it a lot easier for you guys Okay, so while extruding the model, you want to just roughly follow along wherever you can. Now, depending on how low poly you want to make it, I'm going to make it fairly low poly, so I'm just going to leave this here um, as just a, a sharp edge. You could hold Control R and add another loop cut, for example, and then, you know, make it round it off or something. I guess I could just leave it like that. And then you can do the same thing over here. You select the... Uh, the vertices and then you pull it down and it's a pretty simple concept once you uh, start to understand it um, and then you just follow the uh, the outline now obviously it's going to be more difficult depending on what car you choose and all that kind of stuff and your reference but um, I'm going to leave the, the model, this model that I make, in the description below as well, as well as the reference if you guys want to use the same reference, um, if you want to follow along completely with the tutorial. Okay, so now going on to the wheels, um, depending on how much detail you put in, put in um, 
will depend how many cuts you want to do but if you press K then you get the knife tool and then you want to basically cut around the wheel so you create kind of like a frame for the wheel to sit in so I'm going for quite low poly so I'm gonna add one cut in each part here and connect it like that and I'm gonna do the same thing for the wheel at the back so like this and then once you've done that you want to go ahead and click the two faces on the inside as you can see it looks like that and then you wanna basically delete these faces so now you have kind of like a, a an opening in which you can fit the wheels inside okay so since the overall model is super thin what you want to do is select the model and then press s and then x and then drag it along the uh, x axis and then you get the rough sh like width of the car so then you got you've got the the basic shape of a car and then essentially what you want to do is you want to press tab to go into edit mode press 2 or select this icon here and then select these edges right here oh. and then press E to extrude and then pull the red uh, arrow back and then select these edges again and then press F so then it kind of closes in this little gap and that's the main premise for the uh, wheels we just have to make some adjustments here but you can simply just remove these faces here and then select these two faces oh these two faces right here and then press F to join them oh not select that one made a bit of a mistake here so if I fix this quickly and then you can just fix it like that so the same issue is gonna happen here I don't think you guys will get this issue so it's not much to worry about and then connect these here got the same issue here so if I fix this real quick and then boom there you go you have the main uh, shape of the car and then you can put the wheels in the uh, in this gap when you make them okay so now for the wheels I'm gonna keep it fairly simple um, I'm gonna click on this object and then press H to hide it um, and then I'm gonna click add mesh uh, no, not cone add mesh cylinder and then click on this part down here and then change the vertices to 8 uh, and then rotate it and then we want to reduce the width and then this is going to be essentially our wheel so depending on how like detailed you want to make it you can go uh, as far as you want with it I'm not going to do that detailed for the sake of the video but I'm going to do some basics here and then expand this here so then we have our base like a basic wheel and then I'm going to click this little eye here so we can view it again and then I'm going to put all these wheels into the position of where the wheel would go like so obviously resize them so they fit in and there you go that's the wheels done okay now the wheels are done this next next aspect isn't really required but I feel like it like tends to add more detail onto your model but what I tend to do is I select all these edges here on the top and at the bottom and then I press Control and B to bevel the edges and then it adds like a less like it it's not like a sharp edge so it adds a little bit more detail to your model 
Okay, so the next part we're going to do, which is probably the last part, is add the uh, the top part. So, if you go into uh, your x-axis view, you can see it basically follows along the same shape. So, we want to carry on doing that but, um, with the top part. So, I'm going to select these faces here, the ones that I roughly need. So, it's this one here and then these three. And then I'm going to extrude up. It doesn't matter how far up you go. And then you go into your side view. And then essentially what you can do, you can add a loop cut by pressing Control R here. And then you can follow along the outline again. Same thing that you did with the rest of the, uh, the car. And then you kind of get this, uh, the shape that you want. As you can see now obviously this isn't like the most detailed car ever um, it's more of a low poly car bear in mind I've never made a car before so this is my first attempt at making a car um, so don't be afraid to make mistakes you know you learn how to make things by uh, repeating the same task so like basically the second car I make is going to be better than this essentially and the same goes for you guys Okay, so now we want to add the windows. The, ind the windows are going to be fairly simple. So I'm going to select faces by pressing through this. Go into edit mode by pressing tab. And then select where I want the windows. So I'm going to make a window here by pressing I. And then if you want to separate each face, you can press I again. Or just keep it, which I want to keep. So, And then I'm going to press E to extrude inwards. And then do the same thing with these with each window basically and E to extrude inwards then I for the back windows then extrude inwards actually we could probably go for both of these and then extrude inwards and there you go you can this is like a basic model of a, of a um, a car you can add something simple like uh, you know headlights or something you know whatever you guys want to do you can add extra things or like a spoiler or whatever it's up to you guys but this is like a basic super basic model but anyways I hope this guy uh, this tutorial helped you guys out if you have any questions comment down below um, any suggestions for uh, other videos comment down below and um, I'll see you guys in the next one peace